Hi there! Okay, um, I am back with another book review. Um, I just finished The Circus by, I think it's Jonas Carlson. He's Swedish, so I think that's how you say his name. I finished it about five minutes ago, so it's very fresh in my mind. I enjoyed it. I am a little bit <laughs> confused by the ending. Um, it was a little bit confusing. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm going to try my best to do that. But um, in the, like this is in the beginning, so this isn't really a spoiler, but the main premise is that the narrator's um, like best friend or friend seems to disappear when they go to the circus together. His friend like takes him to the circus and then is in a a magic act in which he's made to disappear by a magician <laughs> um, but he doesn't actually come back he just like disappears forever and so then like there's this interesting kind of psychological exploration of the narrator and like what his friend meant to him and like how he's being like very confused and but also seems a little bit like apathetic um, to the whole thing, like after it happens. Um, he starts receiving these phone calls. This is a little bit of a spoiler, so skip ahead if you want. So the narrator starts um, receiving these phone calls from someone he doesn't know who, and they start like playing songs for each other. And there's this whole theme of music throughout the whole thing, which is really interesting, and I loved that part of it. Um, there were tons of songs and stuff that I didn't really know, so I kind of want to go through and like listen to all of the music now. So as they're like calling each other with these songs, um, they have like the titles of the songs like are their way of communicating, kind of. So they continue to kind of speak through music in a really interesting way. Apparently the author is a Swedish actor who then became a playwright who then started writing fiction and prose. So I think that's kind of cool. I personally don't know anything about the author, but I'd like to find out if you know anything he's in that I should watch, put that down below. So yeah, I thought this was super interesting. I definitely recommend it. The, the cover is just so pretty. I'm a sucker for a beautiful minimalist cover. Okay, next I think I'm going to read Persuasion by Jane Austen. Um, I started off quarantine reading some Jane Austen. I read Emma, which was fantastic. I really recommend it. And I recommend the new movie that just came out. It was such a good adaptation. Like so true to the novel, but also like such a great like kind of modern take on the like style and tone of Jane Austen because I think it didn't take itself seriously in the way that her writing doesn't all the time either. And so it felt very like true to the experience of reading her for me. Yeah. Very <laughs> nerdy and cheesy, but I loved it a lot and I highly recommend it. And I love the main actress. Can't think of her name, but I'll put it somewhere if I rem if I remember to. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and read Persuasion next. It's one of her shorter novels, and I'll tell you how that is in a video soon. I also made a whole baking video. I'm not sure if this will come out before that or after that, but please watch it either way. I made strawberry cupcakes. It was my first time doing that on video and I had a lot of fun with it. And they were really, really good. So watch that. The link for that will maybe be in the description. Mystery. Yeah, okay. I will talk to you soon. Bye.